What's your favorite memory or moment in your whole career? Perhaps going back to the 50s when Diana Vreeland informed me that I was going to do the collection with Avedon in 1957. I'm always excited today when I work with a photographer and he books me again currently. It tells me that he's not afraid to describe old age, you see, in, in, an, in a nice way. I mean, listen, we all age, we, we're all going to die. It's how we get there and what we make of the trip and what we make of the machinery uh, we, in, we inherited from our, our genes. Even Avedon uh, taught me a lot uh, about looking, because he was so early in my life uh, to help me to look at my face in the mirror and help me to see what I was looking at. We all look in the mirror. I looked in the mirror, yes, but he showed me what he was looking at in my face and taught me to see myself as he saw me. See, that's very special communication. And young girls today, young models, don't have that. You have digital photography, and if they don't like some little thing in your face, they just uh, uh, Photoshop it. You see, they change uh, the expression, they change, they take away the nuance of personality. And the world is becoming homogenized and sane. Individuality isn't being nurtured. Very tricky. We'll see what the new world brings. Do you speak Hungarian or Italian? No, my mother never spoke Hungarian to me. She was totally Americanized. My father and mother never lived together. So my Italian father didn't have the opportunity to speak Italian to me. And unfortunately, I don't speak any other language, <laughs> <laughs> except perhaps the language of love. What's a common mistake uh, that a new model might make? Well, to answer most seriously, um, thinking today that it's a way of living or that she can, wants to make a career out of it. And I <laughs> would advise young ladies, uh, you know, I hope they have their family behind them and have a very strong ego and sense of themselves because I would think that today there are very few mentors around that were in my day who helped me become uh, into my skin at a different, at 14, 15, 17, 20, 21, 25 as I grew up. Carmi is dating now? I always date. I'm not married. I haven't been married since 1974. I have wonderful relationships. I call myself, however, the kiss of death because every time I found a wonderful gentleman to keep on dating, he died. So I, yes, I'm dating and I warn anyone who wants to date me, <laughs> stay alive, please. <laughs> What's your new project now? What's uh Carmen doing? Carmen has consented to having a video biography. So I am, I've allowed a very two close friends, one in England, David Downton, a famous uh, illustrator, and Tim Peterson, photographer who, who we worked together for Madame magazine. The two of them have gotten together because they know how to finesse me and because I'm never going to sit down and write that book. And they're saying, you know, time marches on. We've got to do something and try and document a little bit of your history because you are part of fashion history. Of your soul. Well, I, I emphasize part of because everyone says, oh, how wonderful, how wonderful. They are looking at the work of great artists of which I was a part. I was the model. I am not responsible for the picture. I'm responsible for my part 
in it, how I understand what they wanted to put together for their photograph. It is their fo photograph, their photography, and I'm very proud to be part of their history.